Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left, make them count. I have no idea what Good. I just said. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Yeah, what well, he said. Your head is still spinning. Oh, well, can't can't go in those. Lesson learned. Who knew that tar could kill you? Feel that. It's a lack of air. I'm assuming this is the Mecton. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for. I swore there was something I could interact with. Poker. So little alive here. No. I'm guessing I need to slow down.
Even the feel of the air changes as you go underground. Don't look down. Oh, that was close. Is that a boot? Ah, yes, a Snoke Spoo. Guess you still want more than that. I do like increased loot chance. I are these like weird little like Ferret chicken things? What is that? He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition. And by that, he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. <laughs> the best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. He noticed the Jumbo Puff has a short attention span, so the script should distract it long enough for you to inflict some damage. Okay.